So we're back with my sled. If you guys saw in our other videos, Dally's blew up on fire, like legit just gone. And this is the sled we had, the other sled that we were riding during that time. And if you can hear in the video, it sounded horrible. So I've been fixing it up, rebuilding everything. So I took the primary clutch off, I rebuilt that, haven't put that in. I took the fuel pump off, rebuilt it, so that's all good. Now I'm putting, I took the entire crankcase off and I put it back on the other day and then we went to put everything else on, but then we happened to crack a bolt. If you can see that right there, we cracked the bolt in the cylinder. Luckily I had a spare cylinder sitting around, so we went ahead and grabbed that, took this one off. I don't know where the other cylinders went though. And then we went to put that on with our new head gasket sitting up there on the Jeep. We went to put our new head gasket on and then realized that the piston was all shot. The piston's inside. This bearing right there, if you can see that, this thing that I was spinning around, that was just blown up. It was, all it had were those little lines. The entire frame was gone and everything. I don't know how that happened. And then, this is stuck inside the piston. This piece right here that's moving out and in. It's stuck, so we can't get that out. So the piston's all shot. So I had another spare piston as well that was, was with the cylinder. So we're going to go ahead install this piston and install the head the head gasket and then the cylinders and then the cylinder cap which the cylinder cap we also snapped the bolt on that so that's the bolt that snapped and that's right here we could not get that out then we snapped one of these tall bolts in the crankcase which really sucked but we are so thankful that we were able to get it out without messing right anything up yeah this is the bolt we snapped but yeah so now we have all the parts Hopefully nothing else breaks, just in case. I have this huge bag of bolts sitting here. Yeah, let's get started. Installing everything part by part. the cylinders in I found them and the pistons now we're just tightening the bolts down it's looking pretty good it's super scary tightening these bolts down because I've broken like four of them but good thing I have this like huge bag of bolts from eBay for like 30 bucks so I'm not that afraid but I don't want them to crack in the cylinders again because I don't have another one but so yeah we got the cylinders on now we just got to grab the seals and the rings put them on and we're ready to put the cylinder head on oh my God. put the carbs attached and we're ready to start this sucker it easily get it out. it's the pull slide look at that guys that's not good can you see that if you can easily get it out take it out then yeah. all right so now we got everything back together almost almost everything we got the cylinder head on or the cylinder cap on i think that's what you call it we've got to get the spark plugs in but then we were putting the fuel pump in and realized my pull slide is completely shot. Like, it has cracks everywhere on it. Like, look at that crack. So I gotta replace that to put, be able to put the fuel pump down in to, and also to be able to put the carbs on and the air box because I can't get down there with all that on. So we're gonna take a break. I'm also gonna go get coolant and some two cycle oil and we can get home and we can fire this thing up and hopefully it'll run. Oh, I'll be so stoked if we get this thing running real nice. Alright, see you guys later. Just got back from Integra. I got the fuel line. Well, it's actually a pulse line, but they're the same thing. It's called the fuel line. So I'm just going to cut this down to the size I need. I got good coolant and really nice oil. Two stroke. So we're going to put this all together. Hopefully it'll run. Let's get it done. Coolant's in. I'm not putting oil in because I would have oil. I hope it starts. Anything leaking? Nothing's leaking. Give her a go. All right, so let's go ahead and spray some of this in. Really nice. Jesus. All right, it went everywhere. That did not go well. That's all right. That's right. Safety reasons. Your piece to this? We had too many things catch on fire. Where's your piece to this? How do we fix that? Dang. This 
So it turns out we strip a crank. Whatever this thing is called. But... Whatever this thing is called. I'm not sure how much that costs. I'm not sure if we can get that at a local store. No, I, bet. I think you have to order. You're kidding me. Got it all together and that happens for real. Dang. Hold that. And then, actually, hold that. You need that, whatever that piece is called. All right.